that's the point of the airdrops. Crazy. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you fucking tall? Yeah, of course. You're... That's exactly right. And Mr. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers, are... they've been working on a special project. It's highly confident. Oh, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. You're Alfie? That's me. Electricity? What's the problem? Well, it's good news. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the over. So, do you need it switched back? There are two substations. Then you throw the master in the main stick. I think I can do it. Of course you can. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them, it's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you... After dark, that's, that's gonna be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. Let's just say I'm here to help. Hey, have you seen that house with the reds? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Look, I've got enough trouble right now. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the gun. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. Hmm. Okay. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Daoud must still have a lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Yeah, probably a bit of everything, really. I sure could use some of that stuff now. What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? You in here? Help me. Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He, he brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. 
He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought... You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. Look, I've got to get out. You know, it seems to me this is about the <laughs> safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums... And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details. If you'll get me one, I'll... Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place. Bring me a gun and a key. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? 
I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Yusuf? Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony Antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Ben. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. What can I do for so, you, my friend? So, he wants us to go out and collect empty vials. Yeah, I hear you're selling Antizen. Who told you that? A little bird? I'm just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Garbage? My formula is 50 times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking you. dead! <laughs> Lena, it's Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. 
Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. This is the Fort Jefferson Tower, and you will address me as Commander Jeff. I make the rules here, is that clear? Not Brecken, not Rice. This is Jeffville, or Jeff Land, or Jeffertown, or New Jeff City. Look, Jeff. Commander Jeff! There's an emergency. The gas is out all over the city. Oh, yeah. That... that was me. But you shut off the gas? Installation of the Fort Jefferson Apocalypse Wall required a temporary interruption of the civilian gas supply. But I'm all ready now, so you can turn it back on. Yeah, I think that's going to be your job. No can do. I'm too critical to base operations. We'll have to send someone who's expendable. <clears throat> Commander, I'd like to volunteer. You're a good man, whoever you said you are. I hate to lose you. Now, go open the quadrant allocation valves. Hey! If you don't get killed, you can be the...
I opened the local valves plus the primary gate. Uh-huh. What about the ballast lines? Wait, the, the what? Flame and flatulence. Do I have to tell you everything? Obviously, you have to close all the valves on the blue line to keep the pressure balanced. Now hurry up. We're going to be leaking more gas than Grandma Trips.
get back here on the double, soldier. Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't the Navy, son. Drink some coffee and sober up. Well done, soldier. I'll open the main pressure gate. Then prepare your eyes for a feast of controlled pyro combustion. Now, I think I should watch this from a distance. If you insist, you got ten seconds. Jeff, and the gas is back on. That's a relief. I told you, he's irreplaceable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to find a replacement. <laughs> 